Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts and I wanted to share with you a solution that I discovered today after much searching about a way to take control quickly and easily of your Facebook newsfeed. If you're like me and you have a lot of business related friends on Facebook who also put a lot of personal chatter up on their Facebook newsfeed and it's running on your newsfeed page and you would like to remove a lot of that and just select who you want to show up on your newsfeed then I've got news for you this is going to be a great solution if you wasted too much time I know I tried clicking every single one I'd spend 20 minutes a day clicking each of those little teeny categories to, to um, try to hide the particular people from my newsfeed and it worked but it took forever and then every time I would log back into my Facebook account, I would see more new people on my newsfeed, you know, talking about swine flu and their recipe for the evening and stuff like that. And, and while it's interesting, it's really not what I want to have on my newsfeed. So stay tuned while I show you how to take control of your Facebook newsfeed and show only the feeds you want to show on your newsfeed and do it quickly and easily. Let's go do it. I'm going to log into my Facebook account and I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are in my Facebook account. And as I scroll on down, you can see that I've got lots of uh, different kinds of information here. Some people are sending personal stuff. Some people are sending business stuff. But I haven't chosen this simply by virtue of them being a friend of mine on Facebook. And I have a lot of Facebook friends because I use it for business they are showing up in my newsfeed. That's happening automatically. Now I have a couple of options. I could click here on hide and hide each individual person, but that takes quite a while. There's an easier way and faster way to do this all at once. And the way we do that is we're going to create a new friend list. Now if you've got your friend list showing over here on the side, you want to just click on more. And as soon as you click on more, it's going to open up this huge, all of your um, Facebook lists will, will show up. And you see I have a lot of them. You can have up to 100 of them. You can click here on Create New List. Or you can go up to the top and click on Friends. And then it's going to let you create a new friend list from here. So that's what I'm going to do is create a new friend list. It's going to load a little teeny box and it'll ask me to name my friend list. And you want to name it something like my something like my newsfeed. And so when you've done that, then you want to scroll on down to where it shows, whoops, create list. And it will create a list called my news feed. There it is. Now, what you can do when you have that, there are no posts here, and you want to add friends that you choose to that list. So you would quickly, quick, uh, simply click here on add friends to this list so that more people than just you show up on your list. So now what you want to do is to scroll on down and find, you see how you're in your new newly created list. Well, we want to add some friends to that list. So now we have to add friends to our list. So we want to click on add friends to this list. Now Facebook is going to default back up here to all connections. And so you wouldn't be adding friends to your newly created list. So what you want to do is scroll on down and find the list that you just created. What did I call it? My news feed. That's the one I want to use. So I'm going to click on add friends to this list because I had no friends in it. Now Facebook changes things and updates things from time to time so it may actually look different by the time you get around to doing this. So what I want to do is add somebody to my list and I want to create, um, I'm going to add 
reminders to my list. So I'm going to type in his name and it's going to bring me all of my minders people. And I'm going to add minders and see how it said selected one. Now I could go ahead and add another friend, my friend Paige, to my list. So now I have two and that's good enough for right now. I'm going to save my list. So I've got Minders and Page in my newly created newsfeed list. Now this is not, this is the regular newsfeed from Facebook. My newsfeed is right here, the one I just created, my newsfeed. So now what we want to do is move this up to the top of the list right here because that is where your default newsfeed is that's going to show up on your home page. So to do that, you have to click down here on more and open up all of your friend lists. You can't do it from an unopened one. So I'm going to scroll down so I can get them both on one page. And now you just take this and drag it up here to the very top. So when you take this and you start dragging it, do you see how it kind of moves up the list there? And you want to bring it way up to the top so it's above Facebook's news feed. Now this is my news feed and we don't have recent posts from people on this list but we do have people on this list. So if we wanted to add more people um, we would just go ahead and add more people the way we did. Now this news feed would show up here instead of everybody. I would be able to select the people whose information I wanted to stream on my main page. Now if you want to post something that's on my news feed. Then you would do that and it would show up here. If you've got something else selected, it wouldn't show up in your personalized news feed, news feed but if you have it selected, it will. So it's just that easy to create your own personalized news feed on your home page of Facebook. If you found this video helpful, you might want to pop on over to our blog, businessbuildingshortcuts.com, where we have other videos as well as blog posts and other information that you can get about ways that you can use to get online quickly and to kind of take control of your business, automate as much of it as possible, and jumpstart your business. So we look forward to seeing you over on our blog. While you're there, you might want to opt in to our list so that you get notified of our teleseminars and events that we have coming up as well as other offers and, I, and information that we send out to our email list. Have a great day.